Right now we're in Laurel Canyon. This is where I grew up. It's really a special place to me because I don't think that a lot of people realize that it even exists. When you think about Laurel Canyon, a very specific time period comes to mind. Like you're thinking about Joni Mitchell and you're thinking about, you know, Crosby, Stills, Nash and the birds and maybe even a little later into like the doors and things like that. And turn, Turn, Turn is one of my favorite songs and it kind of encapsulates the vibe of this little oasis inside the city. Wherever you grew up, that's special to you because it's part of who you are and makes you, you know, who you become. It was really special to grow up the way that I did, being surrounded by musicians all the time. When I was little, it was something that felt normal because that's what was normal for me. I didn't realize at the time that Stevie Nicks being around was different from anyone else's childhood. As I got older, I freaked out and started thinking about all these stories from when I was little and growing up and going to the studio and getting to be on tour and realizing, oh my gosh, these are my musical heroes and I had no idea. When I was 14, my dad passed away of a heroin overdose. So on this album, like there's a song called 14 that I wrote about the experience and it kind of encapsulates what I, w I wish or hope could have happened. Racing Time comes out on July 21st, which happens to be uh, my dad's birthday. Because he was a musician, I would have loved for him to be able to hear the music that I'm making and to be a part of it and to give me advice and to tell me it sucks and then help me make it better and all of that kind of stuff. So having it come out on his birthday, you know, it's in a sense in honor of him. Nine. 